In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. Let us call to mind our sins and ask God's forgiveness. You are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh and splendor the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, eternal majesty, whose inevitable word the Immaculate Virgin received through the message of an angel, and so became the dwelling place of divinity, filled with the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that by her example, we may in humility hold fast to your will. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the nether world or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, it is not enough for you to weary men. Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. Let the Lord enter, he is the king of glory. Let the Lord enter, he is the king of glory. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Let the Lord enter, he is the king of glory. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Let the Lord enter, he is the king of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter, for he is the King of glory. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> o key of David, opening the gates of God's eternal kingdom, come and free the prisoners of darkness. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what he said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? The angel said in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. 
And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And then the angel departed. The Gospel of the Lord. So today we hear the ever tender and beautiful Annunciation of Jesus' birth to Mary. We heard the Annunciation to Joseph in Matthew's Gospel on Monday. I love this Gospel. Uh, when you think about it, it's amazing what's happening here that a virgin is conceiving in her womb the Son of God, that this young virgin, 14, 15 years of age, lived in obscurity. I mean, absolute obscurity. I mean, Nazareth was a nowhere town, nowhere in Galilee. 150 people. Um, you didn't go through Nazareth to go anywhere. I always say, really, they were very unpretentious hillbilly people. And I can say that because I'm a hillbilly from Western Maryland. But that's how God works in his plan for salvation. He uses the obscure, the simple, to make his will known and a reality. Just go look at the apparitions of uh, Mary to, to, to children like St. Bernadette of Subaru. St. Juan Diego. Simple, obscure people. But these are favored by God. So what's that mean for us? Well, um, we not, may not be powerful or great or influential in our world. You and I are simple people. We've been blessed with resources and some wealth and an and a, and a education and many, many things. But God still uses us he uses everybody to his will. God gestated, Jesus gestated in the womb of Mary. Our challenge now is to let God's word and Jesus gestate in our hearts. That we might hear the word of God, embrace it trustworthy, as trustingly as Mary did. And through our living, allow Jesus to take flesh in our actions. So today as we come and as we recognize Jesus in the breaking of the bread, let us pray that we will be open and as trusting of his will for us as was Mary. And that through our actions, through our faith, through our trust in God's will, may we enflesh his word in the daily actions of our lives. Let us stand and bring our prayers to the mercy of the Lord. For bishops and priests, may God strengthen them in their role as faithful shepherds of the flock, leading and guiding us closer to the heart of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of nations, May the Prince of Peace be their guide in promoting unity and working to end war and violence. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are isolated from friendships or social networks, may the Lord bring forth companions to cheer and console them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, May the Holy Spirit lead us in our work as joyful missionary disciples. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died in the light of Christ, may they be granted eternal rest in heaven with all the angels and the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. For Lynn O'Malley Kewell, for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or for whom do we pray today? Lord, hear our prayer. For the health of Keith Kluwer, Rich Riley, John Sumter, Dean Hardin, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
and seeking the intercession of Our Lady for peace. Hail Mary, Mary full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed art thou among women, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. And we ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Thank you. Thank you. This is a whole creation of things that this man has marred the wrong bread to all them. Which earth is given in human hands of made will become for us the bread of life. Make only more alive. We come to share the bread of you, Christ. Who humble himself and share in our humanity. Bless the Lord God, the whole creation of things, bless our Lord. Because of the mercy of his power, God, we ask you to forgive us of our sins, save the sacrifice of our broken hearts. For wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from all my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Lord, look upon the one sacrifice of your Son, that by participating in this mystery, we may possess at last the gifts we have awaited and for which our faith bids us to hope. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. All the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. And John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his incarnation so that he may find us watchful in prayer, exalted in his praise. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, may our voices be one in grateful praise as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace buster. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Lord, grant divine protection to those you renew with this heavenly gift, that to those who delight in your mysteries, you may give the joy of true peace. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Have a good day.